Guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello, 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 hello. It's the return of the mini waffles. Now, before I get into my content, please hit the like on the premise, the possibility that the video will be good. Hit the like button. I know you like watching. And if not, you can feel guilty. Actually, you should be put up on charges for not donating something that is free. You bastard! Anyway, we've seen Man United get back to winning ways. 1-0 versus Brentford, who previously beat our United 4-0. Now, it, it was a good result, we know this, but we have to analyse. We have to remind ourselves of the process. Yeah. Now, we see every time Man United have a home game, they show the best intent. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh. But just like, just like with a lot of these games, we see that there's always things missing. Yeah. We saw Man United press high. They had double the passes of Brentford. Okay, that's good. But the but some of the passing was slow. Oh. A lot of people weren't rotating their positions enough to stretch Brentford, who, on this occasion, they were parking buses like a river. <laughs> Brentford were not good in this game. I mean, obviously in the second half they did a bit better, but very passive. They didn't do it as much work rate as they did in the previous 4-0. At least they knew their role as the inferior team. No. We also saw Man United had way more shots. What was it? 23? Great intent. But only three on target. Damn. Well, we want we once again see what they're trying to do, but they can't quite get the accuracy or the effectiveness. Man United have plus five. A plus five goal difference. She that I mean, okay, it's a process, but that is just ridiculous. Uh, Newcastle, in the, in the place above, plus 25. And at times in this season, they, they've been looked at as a team that's not been effective in front of goal. They've been scraping uh, certain wins, but plus 25. She. Veghorst was left out, and you know, I mean, this, we, we've seen that he's not, he's not there. I mean, he's shown work rate, but what's work rate if you're a, if, if you're slower than Maguire? Wow. What? What? Uh, what's the point? So, Mar Mar we saw Martial come on, and although his work rate was a little bit low, I think uh, he's trying to warm back into his fitness. But although that was low, we saw that there's one twos that was trying. You could see some of his runs were more dynamic, but he wasn't quite getting the ball. Big up to Rashford, aka Rashbape, getting yet another match winner. And I thought he was also man of the match. I think at times he was actually doing what Sancho should have been doing on the, on the left wing and that's dribbling terrifying defenders with dynamic runs just pure aggression but if we're gonna have the goal difference increase it can't just be him getting the goals he if, if he plays on the wing just like Anthony they've got to balance their shooting with crossing the ball into the forward to get goals because Anthony was he was just trying shots all day like he was a forward I mean unless we have Martial as a false nine which is just purely to link up and serve Anthony and Rashford running in behind, they've got to serve the forward, unless they change that system. Anyway, we, we obviously know Man United need better players anyway, besides these guys that are there. Get in the comments, guys. What do you think? Well, yeah, who was your man in the match? What, what were things that you noticed that, uh, that I didn't talk about? You know, all that shit. Hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.